What is up YouTube fam and welcome back to Animation Station. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick video on how to import background pictures, uh, no matter if they're pictures off the internet or something you've snipped or maybe a background that you've drawn and you want to bring it into uh, Krita here. We did have uh, just one person comment asking uh, for help with that. And I do like to help with the things that I know. Krita is a huge platform. There's tons of things that I don't know, um, but we're going to do that today and just show you how easy it is. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top left here. You're going to go File, uh, and we're going to open up a new document. So actually, instead of hitting New here, I already have a preset uh, saved. So I, I recommend that if you're doing animation or images, you create a preset that already has your uh, settings saved. So we're actually going to select Open, and then we're going to click on Create Animation. No matter if you use my animation template or the uh, the uh, uh, image template, it doesn't matter. The importing of backgrounds is the same. So we're going to import a picture. So we're going to go up here in the top left. There's something here saved as sketch. We're going to save that as pick. And to import our picture, it's literally this simple. If you go back up to the top there where it says file, you'll notice there's nothing that says import image. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky for some people. Um, we want to actually go under import animation frames. So even though we're not doing multiple frames, we're just doing one picture. This is where you want to be. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select that. And you're actually going to go down here to the bottom left where it says add images. And you're just going to hit that once. And it's going to come up with uh, wherever your image file is. So mine is in pictures. And then we're going to go to save pictures and we're just going to bring in this background here and we're just going to press open and it's going to bring in the full size. So obviously if you were bringing in um, frames, right, you would put them in ascending order or numerical and hit OK. So for example, uh, I did do an animation in Krita that is on my YouTube uh, and I'll leave the link under this video. It's a, uh, it was a frame by frame animation drawing, like hand drawing. Uh, what you can do is you can bring those frames in in numerical order and press OK and then Krita will automatically put them in place for you so that you have your animation. Um, but in this case, we're just doing one picture. So we hit the add frames. We got our picture in there. And all you do is you just hit OK. And it will come in just like that. So it comes in on the original size. And then obviously you can just um, select it by just clicking on this guy up here, uh, transform a layer or selection. And as you can see, it selects that. And you can just make it this whole uh, hold down shift to keep the uh, perspective and then you can just make it this whole area and make it big there and you'll notice like I've said in my previous videos Krita doesn't have like a functioning uh, camera so the canvas is the camera so if you make this bigger than the canvas so say we stretched it and this is just an example say we stretch this and we made it bigger than the can the canvas what you can do is you can add a motion tween. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave the link uh, for my other video down there as well. You could do a motion tween and you could pan this from left to right. So it kind of looks like a camera is moving uh, because as you can see, the square, if we zoom out here, is still showing the full size of the picture. So you can actually move this around like this and it will still show the full size of that picture. So if you added a motion tween uh, and you move this around, it would almost look like there's a camera uh, panning back and forth. So it is as easy as that to import a picture, a background or anything you're using into Krita. It opens up a, a new layer for it as well. So you can see over on the left-hand side, it says paint layer one, um, and then you can go from there. Okay, so easy stuff. And there's tons of ways that you can use this in any animation so that uh, you can uh, utilize this, this uh, part of Krita. Okay, 
All right, that's it for today. Don't worry, we're still working on the Malayan Tiger um, animation, which is here. We do have a few frames done. Uh, the character is just going to speak and move his hand through his hair. Uh, this is scene 33. If you were with us last week, we rendered out scene 32. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. You guys take care. Enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.